Episode 3, Groundwater Systems. With our friend Blue as our guide, we can see the majestic terrain of Arizona, its peaks and its valleys. But to see the groundwater systems of Arizona and understand how they work, we must get much, much closer. Now, we already know that most of our groundwater can be found in basin fill aquifers. So how did it get down there anyway? Water from rain or melting snow sinks down into the ground from the surface. This is known as recharge. Most of this recharge happens along mountain fronts or lakes and rivers. Here, you can see that mountains serve as the natural boundaries for the aquifers. Looking more closely, we can see that an aquifer is made up of earth materials, gravel, sand, silt, clay. These are all parts of the basin fill aquifer, and water finds its way by moving into the spaces between the grains. The spaces between grains of gravel are bigger than between grains of sand, so groundwater can move in and out more quickly. But through clay, not so much. You see, layers of clay can act as impermeable or impenetrable layers and can be the boundaries between aquifers as you go deeper into the earth. If water sinks into the ground and forms a wet or saturated layer, we call this an unconfined aquifer. At some depth below that aquifer, there's an impermeable layer that stops the water from moving down and enables groundwater to accumulate in the aquifer. Below that, you will find other aquifers. We call these confined aquifers. Within the aquifer, we use wells to figure out where the water is below the ground. In an unconfined aquifer, we call this level the water table. Below the water table, the ground is fully saturated with water. The water table can be close to the surface or hundreds of feet below. In addition to being a vast resource, we also know that groundwater is a part of the global water cycle. So that means it's connected to everything from our weather, to our climate, to our surface water, and to our soil system. If the water under our feet is tied to all these other things that we depend on, what exactly is going on down there? Watch episode four to learn how groundwater moves.